Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in once more. Are we going to get Lazarus again? It keeps giving us Lazarus, so let's see. Uh, no, but we did get Blue Baby! What is this? What is this? It's like, tested out Lazarus for the new patch. Tested out Blue Baby for the new patch. Randomized Lazarus. Randomized Blue Baby. Do you know what? Works for me, baby. Works for me. And honestly, Sagittarius right off the bat is incredible. Of course, we do start with Petrified Poop as this guy now. This, uh, I think Blue Baby it, with, with the double rework is maybe a little bit overpowered. But, do you know what? I like it. We get ourselves Dip Friends. We get ourselves Petrified Poop. It's it's all all sorts of good. It's all sorts of good. I don't actually know if there's like a, a config for this character. But maybe if there was, I'd turn off the Petrified Poop thing. In fact, let's just have a little look now. Um... No. <laughs> no, there is not. Not that I can see there, at least. Um, that is a nice amount of gold. A nice amount of golden fool's gold rocks there that I'm kind of interested in. Um, today, actually, I've got a very, very basic, very simple, very easy little question of the day for y'all. This one is is just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's ridiculously simple. I don't know where it came from, but it's just pooped into my head. Pooped? <laughs> I've got blue baby syndrome. Uh, check for a soul heart real quick. Thank you. Don't know why that uh, rainbow heart's free, but there you go. Uh, but yes, the question of the day today is, what is the last game that you played? Simple as that. What is the last game you played? And for an extra bit of sauce, for an extra bit of sauce, why? You don't have to tell me why, but if we want to... What the hell is this room? If you want to add a little bit of extra sauce to it, a little bit of extra detail, what is the last game you played? And why did you play it? And guessing that there's going to be a hell of a lot. Actually, I was going to say, I was just about to say, I'm guessing there's going to be a hell of a lot of Elden Rings. But actually, based on when this video is going to come out, I bet a lot of people have probably finished Elden Ring by now. It'll have been like a month since Elden Ring came out at this point. Although, I still think there'll be a good amount of people playing it. I just don't think it'll be a lot of people. Whereas, if, if, if this video was would be airing on the day that I'm recording it, I think it would be a lot more Elden Rings. Um, but, as of you guys watching this video, rather than as of when I'm recording it, one game I know for sure that I'll be playing is Tiny Tina's Wonderland, because that comes out in just a few days for me. In fact, it comes out in two days. Uh, and another game is the, uh, the Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, which comes out in about a week and a half for me. Uh, and I'll be very much playing a lot of that. I loved loved the Lego Saga games as a kid and me and BD1P have uh, plans to play it together and speedrun it together which I'm really looking forward to. I love speedrunning. Speedrunning is something that I've been passionate about for a long time. For those of you that don't know actually, um, I have sped, uh, sped run? Speed run? Speed run? Speed run? Speed run? I don't know how to say that. I have speed run up a few games in my life, um, one of them being Enter the Gungeon, of course a game that you guys know I play a lot. Um, I, at one point, was third in the world for the speedrun on that game. I beat the game in 10 minutes and 49 seconds. It's uh, I think it's now like 7th or 8th. It's, uh, it's still doing pretty well in the leader mods, but it was at one point third, which I was very happy with. Um, and then another game that I speedrun for a bit was um was doom eternal when that game came out i i knew i knew like that doom 2016 had a pretty big speedrunning community and i'd not really gotten into doom 2016 as it came out so i when doom eternal was coming out i pre-ordered it and everything i was excited to play it Ooh, very nice um and so i kind of thought you know what uh what do we get for our boss here mother okay uh i kind of thought you know what I'm going to join the Doom speedrunning Discord and just see what's going on. And yeah, when it when it uh, first came out, I it was like a two or three days after I um, it came out, I beat the game on my own like personal playthrough. And then I joined the speedrun Discord. And I noticed there was two or three people in the like general chat that I recognized their names of. They were like top runners for Doom 2016. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to join, keep myself muted, listen in. Uh, and I ended up um, staying in for like a good while, like three or four hours listening to them talking while I was, um... ooh, we got Spelunker's hat, nice. While I was actually practicing tricks of my own um, as they were discussing them. Thank you for the second petrified poop. Yeah, as, as, 
they were discussing the tricks, I was kind of trying to perform them myself uh, and practice them. And eventually, while on this call with them, they were talking about this, um, this like, really difficult to pull off trick, which was kind of, obviously the game had only just come out, so it was a relatively new trick, and it was, uh, people didn't really know how to have a consistent setup, and I found a really consistent setup, so I decided to unmute myself and talk to the guys about it, and I ended up getting credited with finding the setup, and it got used in the speedrun, and I eventually, um, I eventually formulated, like, a whole run, um, it's definitely nowhere near the world record as it currently stands because just a lot of new strats and uh, strategies and stuff got developed since I last played. But I ended up um, getting a really good speedrun. Um, my goal from the very start was to beat the game in under an hour and I eventually got a record of 56 minutes which I was ecstatic over. Um, it was incredible considering my, um, my initial playthrough was like 30 hours long. It was a incredible feeling to get a, such a stupidly quick time. I mean, Doom Eternal is just generally a very broken game, anyways. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, so um, never named, uh, never named. Sorry, um, BD1P kind of said about um, when the the saga comes out, like Star Wars, if we wouldn't fancy trying speedrunning it and trying to get like one of the first ones on the clock. Um, and I said, hell yeah. And the only thing that I've sort of got to worry about is that game's gonna be long. Um, pretty much guaranteed. Like, it's all nine Star Wars films. It's gonna be a long game. Ooh. With the Diplopia. Um, let's buy the Diplopia, because it is cheap. Bomb these. And, unfortunately, not really get what I wanted. Uh, I will buy that. Damn it, I was gonna say I wanted a bomb. I did technically get a bomb. Not really what I wanted. Ooh, Lover's Card. Mr. Loverman Shabba. I think Lovers is a broken heart, isn't it? Yeah. Um, display X and Y statements um, on uncleared rooms affect you. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll go and Diplopia. Uh, I do want to keep some bombs for the next vlog, so we are meant to be going Mother here. Pickup is sad. I don't... Oh, what the hell? I thought I was well far enough away from him there. I don't know what pickup is sad means. <laughs> like, the, this is a pretty interesting mod. Obviously, the, the reference is Babbit is you. Uh, anyone that's played or seen that game. It's basically it's a little puzzle game where you've got to create sentences out of um, segmented statements like this, where it'll be like, um, block is wall and, and stuff like that. And it's a really, really unique little puzzle game, actually. It, got, it was quite big for a little while on, uh, on YouTube with quite a lot of different people. Um, and yeah, this it can affect us in many different ways because the stat increases and stuff. Latch key is very good here. I'm hoping that we get a devil deal we can deploy up here. here. Um, not really. Unfortunately, not really. I'm, I'm basically deciding. Do I want to? I, I want to keep petrified poop. I'm just going to use it. It's a bit of a waste, but it only cost us seven cent. I think at the end of the day, that's a, a decent bargain. And, and uh, not petrified poop, sorry. The poop with petrified poop is just too good to let go. So I'm going to come over here, grab that, grab that. And we shall be on our way. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this run so far. Obviously, taking that broken heart is a little iffy because um, it lowered our HP quite a lot. I always forget that it takes away two soul hearts when you're a soul heart only character. That's always a little scary. Also, let's make sure not to use our bombs here. Have we still got the have I grown up thing enabled? We do. Oh, look how tiny they are in the buckets. That's so cute. Um, yeah, apparently the have I grown up pill is still in effect. But yeah, uh, fam- Oh no, that was the Babbit is you effect. Family is small, I think that was. We need to be keeping an eye on that. Pickup is big. So some of them I think are just visual, but some of them are like be statistical increases. It's a very cool, it's a very cool idea for an item. It's a bit intrusive in, in how big the text is, but for the most part, like this one we got a fire rate increase. For the most part, it's not so bad that- Fucking, I hate dumpies. That was a ridiculous push. Ridiculous push. Oh, I missed out on... Oh. Ah! That was so much pain. So much pain. I'm not sure if you saw what happened there, but not only did I get an active item that I didn't particularly want, although I probably will stick with, the D1 is very good, 
but I missed out on 2020. Oh, the pain. I love regret pedestals, though. It's a mod that just shows you what you missed out on. It's a fantastic idea. I'm actually really surprised that Kilburn and Edmund didn't think of it. It's so evil that I just think it's so fitting for Isaac. Such a great mod. The pain that has been brought to me is exactly what I needed. I need to make this bomb work. There you go. I, I'm, I'm always a little scared of a little bug just because of this attack here. I never know how many times he's going to jump and when. And it always scares the shit out of me. Like, look at me. Stop jumping. Look, it just keeps going. It goes on and on and on. Yeah. Okay. Woo. So, yeah, I think maybe the poop is like, Isaac is fast. I thought it said fat at first. Then. What the hell? Oh, the maggots. I was like, where the hell did the uh, leech come from? Came from that dude. Okay. I don't know if we can get, like, HP out of uh, out of this. We got fast again. Basically, I'm kind of hoping that keeping the D1 will give us the ability to gain some hearts. I need to remember, actually, to use it on red hearts, because red hearts can turn into soul hearts, because the D1 doesn't give you an exact copy anymore. So we can do that and get like a bomb and it could have given us a double bomb. It's a little more, it's a little more versatile. It's a little less, oh, fucking getting hit so much right now. I don't know why, but us blue baby, I'm a magnet for getting hit. Um, I might die. My streak might be gone. Oh, wait, enemy is fast. Babarus, you, what are you doing to me? I thought you were going to be on my side. This isn't on my side. This is, this is evil. But what I was going to say is we might be able to, um, might be able to get, some cool stuff. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. What I could do actually is uh, keep duping my soul stone. I've done that in the past. It's a decent idea. Um, do you know, I've actually got a pretty intriguing little idea for myself here. How about I just make myself into the lost to give myself a holy mantle? <laughs> like, because it, I, normally I'm one hit off death and don't have flight. Now, I'm two hits off death and have flight. Like, that seems infinitely better. Which is bad. Like, we're in a bad spot right now. But the fact that that's a thing is kind of crazy. Get some flies garnered up here. Bomb is big. So it seems that some of them aren't really going to be relevant to the room that we're in. Unfortunately. Okay, let's tr pop this. Retrovision isn't all that bad. We'll check this out. Oh, there you go. That is a big bomb. That is unfortunately a chest that we have absolutely nowhere to open. Oh, I see now. It could give us a crap key here. It did not. Um, I think we do that. And then do that. Lovely. Uh, okay. In a tight spot here. In a tight... Oh, no. We could most certainly die here. It's like, basically, I've got the choice now. Do I? Oh, no, I'm not the lost. I just realized I'm not the lost anymore. I completed a room, didn't I? Fuck, I'm one hit off death. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god, that was the scariest thing of my entire life. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I, I didn't realize I'd completed a room, obviously. That was scary. Anyways. <sighs> my heckin' heart. Um, We might as well check this out. It's a soul heart. Thank you. Bank Jeebus. Right, let's get through here. Whereabouts are we? Okay. Isaac is sad. I do wonder if we'll get similar results as before. Making this room significantly harder for me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my lord, the stress. The stress is quite a large one. 
I definitely won't be doing the boss again. That is a, a big fat no. <laughs> big fat no for me. Isaac is slow. Oh no, shot is slow. Pickup is big. I don't understand. Does that mean I'm going to get double drops or does that mean the, pizza, the pickup will be physically large? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. That means the pickup will be physically large. Okay. Thanks for the clarification here. Didn't give me any more bombs. It's just visually big. <laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> Stop giving me the soul of fucking ease. Ugh. I can't use that. It crashes the game. Stop. Evil heathen. Evil heathen. Right. Against all odds, we're coming out of this... I wouldn't exactly say smelling like roses, but we're not dead <laughs> is uh is the main thing we are not dead now we keep on moving onto the mines pretty scared of the mines we are going down with one of the uh fly hearts which i mean I, that means we should get a free locust i think i think i don't know i think it maybe you need to have that empty red heart for it to work i don't remember Oh, there you go. And we got a rainbow one. Nice. Bomb is small. Okay, so what I'm noticing now from uh, the Babbit Is You item is many, if not, like, almost all of the modifiers are almost completely worthless to us. <laughs> I thought we'd be getting, like, damage ups and, like, and, like, speed ups and range ups and all that sort of stuff. No, cre creep is null. What? What do you mean? What does that mean? Creep is null. How does that help me? <laughs> like, I'm just confused. So I drop this again. Bomb is big again. Oi. Why? Oh god, this is not a good room for me right now. Okay, that, that went better than I thought. I'm going to try and use my fly here to kill this dude rather than actually getting over there. It works. Oh, boy. Get a card. Potentially could be good. Some extra bombs. Unfortunately, not that good for us. We can save a key here. This run is terrible. <laughs> this run is so doomed. I hate this item. Shot is small. What? How does this help me? <laughs> it's it's a cool item, but I was hoping it would be a little more impactful. I'm only really sad because I kind of need it to be good because the run's going so poorly. Scratch card saved me. That's something. That is something. Um... I always forget if the D1 can make new trinkets. Either way, we're going to be duplicating all these soul stones. Stop it with that soul stone. I will actually slam you down into the ground. And now I'm even more regretful that I didn't bloody pick up the... Ugh. The sadness within me. It's deep. It's quite deep. Okay, so let's carry this into the next room and use it. Okay, that was pathetically useless. Judgment. Not the one we want to see. Soul of Cain is potentially maybe good. I guess just use it here. Okay. What? Why is there a... What the fuck? No. This isn't okay. 
I did delete the fuck out of him. Ooh, lump of coal. Okay. Okay, so first, I don't know why he spawned in there. But I think we should use Soul of Isaac and try and get a one-up on this. I think we should D4. Do you know what? I'm significantly happier. Like, our run is weird now. And I honestly think I, I need you to go, Mr. Keeper Man. I know that you're pretty good, but you're just in the way and confusing. Okay. Grab that. But we've got, like, really good Ipecac range and Tech 2 with crazy high damage. It's uh, it's not impossible for us to hurt ourselves. Do you know what? I should be carrying this, really, shouldn't I? It's not impossible for us to hurt ourselves, but it should be reasonably hard unless the enemy is right in our face. This run is, yeah, this one's a lot better. <laughs> we still need HP pretty badly, though. And here we are. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. Beautiful. And we got a new stone chest. That gave us some soul stones. Right, let me let me quickly go and uh, check the lay of the land with uh, with this. I think Eye of the Occult makes this so much better. I have so much control. Okay, definitely do that. We'll do this room. Just gotta be aware of not letting go fight. Like, if we tap fire, it will, like, literally do that look and hover the Ipecac right above our head. So we need to be holding fire for a significant amount of time. Which works for us, because we want to be using Tech 2 anyways. Like, the Tech 2 stuff we got going on right now is insane. We do have a Dom that can hear, weirdly enough. Melting Pot. If one of these gives me a Soul Heart, then sure. Otherwise, nah. I think I could go in there, but... I, again, I need a soul heart, really, to, to sell it to me. Solo Eve. Like, look at that damage from Tech 2. Oh. Wait, where is he? Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize he jumped into the sky. Okay. Well, things have things have changed significantly for the better here. Still wouldn't say we're in the clear exactly, but we are much more in the clear than we once were. Especially health-wise. Goddamn, our health situation got so much better. I mean, our damage situation got infinitely better as well. I can't I can't ignore that. <laughs> oh, we we don't get uh, secret rooms revealed to us anymore, do we? We need to be checking for him. We no longer have Spelunky hat. Spelunker's hat, what you want to call it. The fact that we've got the infinite range as well. So we can just stand over here, out the way of our explosions. Right, drop that. Right, does this, does this work on trinkets? It does. Okay, we we should be we should be trying to produce a new trinket then. I do not like this in the yet yeah, in the slightest. Stop! Ah! Oh god! That room was big gross. 
One thing I'm really appreciating as well is our tier's been deleted uh, on room clear because it means there's no like lingering Ipecac tier when the room ends. Did hurt myself that time, but it's, it's the first time, so I'm not all too worried about that. I left this far too late, didn't I? I didn't realize there was something I had to be, like, something I was supposed to be doing here. Oh! <sighs> Stupid. Stupid. Goat Hoof. Yeah, do you know what? I'll take Goat Hoof. We're not really destroying any, uh, any rocks at the minute, are we? Check this out. Five cent for a half soul heart. Oh, do we don't... Does Deca... I don't know. Deca cars isn't really that good for us either. Let's just buy this. Give it for devil chance. Stem cells is a bit boring. But at the same time, it's guaranteed HP. But I'll take this and oh my god, am I happy I went for this. One guaranteed soul heart versus cancer, which is three soul hearts and the uh, half damage effect after your first hit. Infinitely better. Oh, hello, crawl space. Also, hello, epic fetus. Um, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like Parastoid. Okay, can we actually get Epic Fetus here? And also, do we want it? I think yes, right? Let's take a little look around. Ooh. Bosses become more aggressive and gain extra HP. Spawns an extra boss item. Hell yes. Right. So, deck of cards is going to give us one card. It's unfortunately a strength card, not really what we're looking for. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm, I'm like completely fine, by the way, if we don't manage to get Epic Fetus here. Like, I'd like it, but we don't need it. What the hell was that movement that he just made there? I also forgot that I have explosives so I can kill these guys. I think it's just because they're more aggressive. I think that's that burn of speed they have. We got double items though, so there you go. Tears up. Very nice. Obviously, we still got another our other knife piece first. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at all the HP we just got. Boy, oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, big boy. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we can get that. We could find that other secret room that could end up containing something useful to get there, maybe. I don't quite know what that is right now. It's got potential to be, um, right here. It is. Oh! Hippocac almost got me. Just bombs. East are just bombs. Although, we can get into the boss trap room here. Yeah, can of tails. No telefrags for me, thank you. Don't telefrag me anyways. You little bitch. I, I bested you once, Singe. I'll do it again. Oh, damn, I'm bouncing these rocks around all over the place. Right. Let's do this. Starting with pretty low speed, so... This isn't going to be, uh... Oh, wait, no. Does... Will we maybe have 1.1 speed as a base? Is that new, or is that the rework that I've got? Or is that default? I don't remember him having 1.1 speed as a base. I like it, though. This room scares me. That is a lot of bomb grimaces. That means a lot of pissing around. One good thing about this, though, is once we've taken our first hit, um, 
if we get hit again after that, it's only going to be half heart damage because of cancer. So we don't have to worry about that too much. I think this is just like a a multiple path sort of thing. Like, there's there's options we can take. Which I actually kind of like. This this is actually a, a much more enjoyable room than it looked like it was going to be from the outside. And away we go. I'm liking our little rainbow fly, buddy. Go this way. Crack this open. Crack that open. Let you fly by, kill the fly. There we go. I didn't I didn't know if you could reach that bomb, but I thought, let's give it a go, why not? Last room. And we are clean. I'm getting a lot better at that. And a lot less frustrated at it as a result. I think we've got a trinket we pretty much want to stick with now. So let's start um, producing more soul stones. I'm going to just drop this one here. Obviously, there's quite a few soul stones that we're looking for here. But we're not really getting any in particular. I mean, we've had a soul of cane. But soul of cane is only good if you end up finding a red room out of it. We got our knife. We are good to go. I'm feeling very confident about this run now, especially with cancer. Doubles our HP on the mother fight effectively. As long as we go into that fight with decent HP, we'll be feeling good. That was some bullshit. <laughs> Oh, that nice. Drop that again. I'm just going to leave this on the floor this time because I'm not using it. I'm just going to come back and uh, duplicate it. Of course, it's another wooden soul of Eve. Oh, beautiful money. Uh, I'm going to take pay to play simply because... I'm going to blow up that domination machine to make sure I've got the money. Simply because... It has new sprites, and I want to see them. I don't even know if the modded doors will accept them, but I still want to see them. Ah! Almost if I get myself again. Fight the boss this time. Oh, I keep hitting myself. God damn it. You think you're so cool with your fires? No, no, no. Ah, you did get me though. We do get both of these, however, which I'm very happy about. And we also get the Immaculate Heart. Nice. But I, pro I probably should have doubled that Zealot Heart there, you know. Oh, no, it, would it wouldn't have become another Zealot Heart, would it, actually? Thinking about it now. But that don't matter. That's something I want to carry. Oh my god. <laughs> that room is funny but annoying as hell. Yeah, I can't believe like this 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 um run was truly like ugly duck ugly duckling. Like I gulped. I do you know what? That's real bad. I gulped my trinket. If this trinket affects mother, we in for a hard time. Extra 50% HP and uh, increased attack speed. That's going to be real frustrating to fight if it affects bosses that don't drop items, which I'm going to guess it does because I, I was planning on dropping the trinket. Now I can't. 
Also, you may be noticing, I just consistently keep blowing myself up. It's very hard not to do with Eye of the Occult. Very hard not to do. Tears up. Nice. Oh, we should actually uh, quickly pop this down and get some dips. Why not? Right. Carry on going. Uh, we should probably blow up these. Oh, there's a tinted drop there as well. Oh my god, I keep hitting myself. Do you know what? One of the reasons I keep hitting myself. For one, look at this fucking shot. That's Immaculate Heart right there. <laughs> That's doing that. Just realised. Uh, but also... Like, look at this stupid thing. But also, another reason why... Is because the shots are just blend in so much. Um, Let's pop this down now. Maybe not the highest yield player here. Virus. No, we've only got one syringe. Burn spares, nah. Little haunt, nah. You'll listen, maybe. Now that, excuse me, that is the good ish. Explosive immunity. That's bliss. That right there is absolute bliss. <laughs> Getting absolutely screwed over by Immaculate Heart. Not anymore, friend. Not anymore. Ooh, I need to make sure I bring a soul stone down with me. Almost forgot. Doesn't really matter which one. Another tinted rock here. I just missed. Wait, what? Pay to play works on chests now? What the hell? <laughs> okay. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Up diggity dang. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my lord. But yeah, now we can be super stupid. I would love Cern Bond here, but we don't have anything that works with it. If we get something that works with Cern Bond, I'll take it, because I'd love to have my familiars firing Ipecac shots. I love the dolls in Mausoleum, goddamn, especially when they're shook. And even these, even these use pennies now. That's, that's really cool. And there is such. There is such. Now, will this fire an Ipecac shot? I I don't think it will, but I want to try. It do. Wait. All of my wisps do as well? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. What up, fam? Get absolutely demolished. Beautiful. This this is true bliss. True bliss. Interesting room design here. A bit saucy. I should really be dropping my uh, stern whenever it's readily available to do so. No, thank you. Um, no, this is horrible. Stop. Stop with your BS. Those, those, those things are the worst. <laughs> those goddamn blocks. We unfortunately lost a lot of our wisps, but another tears up. Not that we need any of them at this point, but there you go. Get a cardboard down here. It duplicated the cardboard box. 
So, um, I think empty chests are meant to have D1 protection. Or, like, duplication protection. Apparently, the modded chests do not. Good to know. Have I grown up? This is the, uh, the last shop, I believe. So, we should really, uh, suss this out. Interesting. It's kind of crazy how Cern Bond would be just horrible for us if we didn't have uh, explosion protection. But at the minute, it's really good for us. What the hell is going on with the visuals of these things? They don't like being small. They most certainly do not like being small. I'm going to certainly take that and that. Do you know what? Scratch cards, they're, they're rarely bad. Sometimes maybe they're a waste of money, but they're rarely bad. Right. Let's do this thing. I can't tell if this guy's sped up or not, but we're dealing enough damage for it to not matter. Small eyes. Oh god, the sprites are all sorts of fucked up from how I grown up. There you go, they sorted themselves out. Yeah, we're bound to get hit in that fight a few times, but it's, like I said, cancer makes it not a problem. And we go. I can't believe we got Hurst Hat. That was so lucky. So lucky. Absolute ugly duckling into beautiful swan sort of run this. Don't know what hit me there. Just accept it and move on. Oh, I should have left the soul heart. Although, like I said, I keep saying that, but you can't do that anymore. I can't just keep making soul hearts with D1. It doesn't work that way. What I can do is make soul stones every four rooms, which is pretty fucking strong. Like, a lot of people were complaining about the D1 nerf. And yes, it does nerf, like, the holy card strat with uh, Tainted Lost. But other than that, I actually think it's a very good and smart change. It makes it a much more interesting item. Rather than what it was, which was basically a free win. I mean, it still can be a free win. Like, obviously, with this many soul stones, it's going to be a high chance that you do win. But it's not completely free. So, unfortunately, now we just have our Bebski. But we still have um, Technology 2 helping it out a bunch. We'll be looking out to get more familiars when we can as well. I think Soul of Isaac's decent here. Yeah, I think I think both of these are good. We got a Dagaz, a Yera, and a Black Room. What? How does how does this work? Okay, that duplicated a heart. I'm stupid. Um. Nah, I'll stick with my I'll stick with my Soul Stones just in case. Wherever the hell it is. I used my Soul of Isaacs. I need this one. Just in case. Because what, what if we get like a Soul of Azazel? Soul of Azazel could be great. We could get a Soul of Cain that gives us a Sacred Heart drop out of a Red Room. There's all sorts of different scenarios in which the Soul Stones could potentially be better. And I think that's worth gambling on. Beautiful. So very beautiful. It's just weird how this run went from a, oh shit, we might genuinely die, to this is a guaranteed win. <laughs> so quickly. It didn't immediately, because obviously we could have killed ourselves with Ipecac pretty heckin' quick when we first got the reroll. But like, it just spiraled out of control after that flaw. And then once we got uh, Hurst High, it was all but assured. Soul of Isaac again, look. I I mean, Soul of Isaac doesn't matter all that much because we're not going to uh, get any more items, I don't think. It's rare, at least, that we'd get any more items at this stage, but... I've got it just in case. And away we go.
I think we've only got a few more rooms to go on this run anyways. We'll go careful of those eyes. It's drifting a boot. And probably one last duplication here. Oh, picked up the wrong bloody thing. Definitely not that. Hello. Damn it, got hit right before the boss. Um, yeah, we'll just go in. We'll just go in. I could try and get one more soul stone, but I'm thinking let's just go for it. This is a pretty guaranteed win. We've got a lot of HP, insane damage, and cancer. The only sentence in which you'll say, this is a guaranteed win, I've got cancer. But we've already been hit once, so cancer is active now. And just the amount of Ipecac shots is insane here. I don't know why I stood there there. That was, that was weird. A little bit of lag on this attack there. We're pushing him back quite a lot, which is quite nice for attacks like this. Isn't it more leeway? First hat just saved me from getting hit as well. Thank you. I can't really get behind him there, so I've got no choice but to kind of face tank. We use tech two to push bombs at him here. Don't know what's going on anymore. I don't care. There's, there's literally no way he could kill me. I was kind of stood in the fray. There you go. Beautiful run. Like I said, this was an, an ugly swan sort of a run. Ugly duckling. And I absolutely loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.